What is up guys, don't forget to subscribe for music tutorials, scope tutorials, and logic tutorials like this. This is going to teach you how to connect a microchip to an object. So pretty much what you'll want to do is actually click on the microchip. I'm going to scope out of everything, make sure I'm scoped out of everything. If you're not scoped out of everything or if it's like, you know, transparent like this, press L1 and X on the microchip until it turns into a color. Then click on the microchip, go to the tweak menu, go to target right here, apply to object then just click on the object. So if it's already applied to something, just do that. You'll see this red thing appear, and it should be more prominent. Sometimes it goes inside the object. You can actually put the um, the microchip itself inside the object also, but then pretty much it's connected to the microchip. You can group the objects together by going over here if you want to after scoping out um, and then grouping them together. Um, right now it's ungrouped. Sometimes it won't say it, so if it doesn't say it then you know but it should just all group together just make sure you have everything clicked if you're trying to do that and then after everything's outlined clicked group it together and then everything's grouped and then that's pretty much it you might want to change the object to movable um you might want to mess around with the object settings and that should pretty much be it for that on how to connect a microchip to an object. So if you wanted to connect uh, other things to this, you can test that out too. If you didn't want something to be visible, just press that. And um, that's pretty much it. Check out my other tutorials on how to scope music and whatnot. And there should be a playlist that pops up soon. Check that out if you need more time choosing whether you'd like to subscribe and set out streaming up here. Feel free to pop into the stream. I test out your creations in my streams and whatnot. And I'll also play Undertale Hollow Knight and um, um, Deltarune. So we have a lot of theories for Deltarune and Undertale also, and as well as how to mod Deltarune. So we've been doing this kind of stuff for a minute. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And for first-person shooters, how to make a first-person shooter out of the um, Medium Molecule Kit, feel free to check that out on my channel also. It's up to now. And this right here should get you going on how to pretty much get microchips connected to a different objects this is actually the rolling ball i'm going to teach you guys how to make a marble ball game soon but you kind of already know if you've already clicked on this if you wanted to make a marble ball thing if you wanted to change the color of something what you would do is go to the tweak menu of the object or at least that should be the way it works i guess i had to make another tutorial for that because i'm not exactly sure exactly why this tweak menu is different from the other one I, if i had to guess it's because it's in group tweak we're gonna scope out of everything and then we're gonna try this. Let's see here. Still not there yet. Well no, it's still group properties. It's still let's see here. Yeah. So move this real quick. I should probably moving everything. Let's ungroup it. Let's see if it's moving. Nope. Still moving together. There we go. I think I'm just scoped into this now. I'm gonna like take this off of it. And there we go, that's how you would do that. Um, this is actually the menu I was trying to get to. So this is what this is the stuff you would mess with. Turn it into a marble, you know what I'm saying? Mess with the colors if you want to. All that great stuff. All that great stuff is right here. Movable, visible, all that menu stuff is right here. You might have actually been able to get to it easier just by pressing L1 and square on it. But uh, I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, just press L1 and square on it. And then you it, you might be able to do it while it's grouped. No, if it's uh, grouped, then L1 and square will put you into this menu. So just remember that. Let's see here. Right now I'm trying to reopen this. L1 and X on that. 
Maybe it's L1 and X and then that. So we'll try that here in a second. I want an exit. No. I want an X. I want a square. I want a square. Okay, yeah, it does work. I'm tripping. There we go. I don't like that color. That's a little bit better. Oh, yeah, that one. No, it's gotta be shiny for a marble. Oh, cast shadows. I guess, or, I mean, marbles have shadows, right? And there's some other things you can mess with too, the inner properties, flick proportion, special effects of your marble. Stuff like that. If you want it to bounce, the density for like harder things, read it, read it. M properties, M costs, higher it is, I think the better the graphics, that's what I was looking for. And then all that stuff right there is right there. Audio sound effects of the surface type. I guess for a marble, it would be metal or stone. But, you know, see which one you know works the best. I mean, you can just mess around with it. Let's see if this is working. Seems like it is. Actually, wait. There is a way to get rid of that wiggle effect. It might be messing with the density. For the love of God, I gotta get rid of that wiggle effect before I make that tutorial. Oh my God. So I guess that's the stone sound effect. I don't even know. Let's see what I'm far. Oh no, it's fire. Holy crap, it's in hell. We gotta <laughs> We gotta end the tutorial. But that's how you uh, connect microchips to uh, objects in the suffering.